Wow. The ship sounds so much different than it did before. Hey guys, welcome to part four of my Let's Learn Ship Designer series for Starbase. Today I'm adding cargo containers to my ship. Now it's not that the ship needs them, it's just that I want to learn how to connect them properly before I start working on a more serious project. So if, if I know exactly how to place them, how to bolt them, and how to connect them, then I can plan them into the design of my next ship instead of just simply adding them wherever they fit. So uh, yeah, there's no need for a longer intro. Let's just get straight into it. All right, I think this video is probably going to be a short one. I can't say for sure. I just, I think it's going to be a short one. I want to focus this entire video on just adding cargo to my ship. Now, adding cargo just by itself, I mean, that sounds easy. Uh, but the thing is, that ship is fairly small. And I'm not sure how I want to do this. I want to try and do it well. Like, I don't want to just put cargo crates anywhere on this where anywhere it fits and then make this thing look ridiculously bad <laughs> even though I'm not expecting to be able to make this thing look ridiculously good either I would like to keep some of the side panels like kind of open just to allow me access to come in and change the fuel rod and things like that uh, and to be able to do some repairs so with that in mind I'm thinking maybe have a row of cargo containers here in between the, the maneuvering thrusters and maybe having another row underneath it and something I also need to start paying attention to this blue square and this pink square. This is the center of, hang on, center of thrust. And this here is the center of mass. Now you can see that the center of thrust is above the center of mass. So if I can raise the center of mass a little bit, uh, this would make it it would make the ship more efficient because the maneuvering thrusters would not have to work as hard to stabilize the ship and make it fly straight. So if this is at the same height as this, then it should fly straight without the maneuvering thrusters working as hard. I might end up adding more cargo containers to the top just to try and raise that center of mass. But yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm after. Uh, so let's say I can fit probably maybe six. Yeah, let's go with six. So we'll just go like this. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, it snapped on it. That's good. to be pretty damn close to where I wanted it. Hmm. Okay. So it won't snap onto the edge of the beam. It will snap to the middle of the beam. I get it. Alright. Now, in order to connect these, I just need to run a cable to one of them. And since they're all touching they should all be powered up. If they're all touching, they're gonna share the connection. Now these are still blue, but it shouldn't matter. One being connected should connect all of the others. So we're gonna test it before we add more cargo containers. We're gonna test this. Uh, we're gonna put a resource bridge right here. So I'm just gonna do this. Yep, 
That seems to work. There. Now I just need to connect it. So it's connected to the cable network. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Now I need to bolt it. I need to bolt all of this. Let's just do it the easy way. Okay, so all of the cargo containers are bolted together. I can see that from here, but how are they bolted to the frame? Oh, right here. Right here, they're bolted to the frame. I can actually see bolts sticking out right there. Okay, I don't I don't think that's how I would have done it. I think This right here is probably how I would have done it Now I'm curious did that raise my center of my oh, yeah, it raised it quite a bit <laughs> All right, so yeah, I wanted to test if I could access my cargo I need to connect to this and then open my inventory and I do not have access to my cargo. They're bolted to the frame. They're connected to the cable network. Do I need pipe? Let's try that again. No connected containers. Well, Hmm. All right, let's try to connect the resource bridge with pipes. Let's see if that works. Uh, okay, so it it needed pipes. That's all it was. Alright, so I can put some more under the ship now. Ah, shit. Radiator is there, so this means that you cannot exist. that sucks like I'm just gonna remove that one as well because if it's not connected to these then it's just gonna make my life harder now these are not gonna be boltable that sucks remove these so that leaves only three that are boltable but what does that do yeah, it didn't do much to the center of mass. Maybe because it's not bolted, so it's not considered part of the ship anymore. Ah, uh, well, not yet anyway. Let's just bolt this in place. Yep. As that worked. And yes, the center of mass did drop a little bit so now it's almost it's almost perfect like that there you go okay well I have a cable right here which I can get there they're both connected to the same port I don't know if that's a good thing but let's see let's see if that works we're here to learn anyway, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so six, six on top, three on the bottom, that's nine, yep. The cargo stuff is done right now. Let's fly the ship for fun. Wow. 
the ship sounds so much different than it did before. And it's so much slower. Holy crap. So much slower than before. It, it sounds like an actual like cargo ship. It's cool. I like it. I really like it a lot. I like the sounds. The sound effects. Once again, we learned more. I learned that I have to connect it to both the pipe network as well as the cable network. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love the sound of clang in the morning. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be it for this one guys You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye